My name is uh, Niklas Wilhelm and I live in Germany and uh, currently I do work as a Microsoft 365 architect for an IT consultant company uh, called ICT. Uh, besides that, uh, two colleagues of mine uh, and, and I founded a small company you might already know or heard of. Uh, it's the HubSite 365.com. Uh, uh, if you don't know it, uh, in short, it's a platform where you can uh, find curated content about Microsoft 365 and Azure. Uh, it's like uh, a newsletter, uh, a reader, and a dictionary one platform. So uh, it's pretty cool. And you might just want to check it out. If you want to reach out uh, to me or HubSite365 uh, regarding any subject, you can do so over our uh, social media channels, Twitter and LinkedIn. So uh, today, I'm going to show you a little SPFX web part I've built. And uh, this web part uh, visualizes all lists on the site uh, in an entity relationship diagram. Uh, therefore, we are using, of course, uh, the SharePoint framework SPFX, uh, PNP.js to pull all the data from SharePoint and uh, Go.js to visualize everything in an ERD. Well, why should you do that? Um, of course, uh, it's pretty cool. And um, But the idea came actually out of a practical case. Uh, I was working on a project uh, where a colleague of mine built uh, a complex list structure. Um, and I just thought, wouldn't it be nice to have uh, a tool uh, which is showing um, yeah, the complete structure in an entity relationship diagram? And then I thought, OK, that's might be not that hard. And uh, yeah, if there is, of course, an NPM package, which will do uh, most of the work for me. And uh, luckily, there uh, was. Um, and therefore, uh, it's uh, Go.js uh, I'm using for that. And uh, yeah, highlights uh, of the uh, solution is, um, of course, we're realizing everything in, in the ERD. Uh, we're using um, the SPFX single part app page to have yeah, more space to visualize everything of it, so it's not in a small web part. And um, then we do have, um, yeah, optional, you can show and hide alerts and fields. And alerts are, for example, uh, also showing you, uh, I don't know, if you have issues on the versioning or uh, you're reaching the uh, item threshold uh, by the limit and so on. Uh, and uh, you can also download uh, your uh, entity relationship diagram as an image. Okay, so that's so that's it for the int introduction. Let's jump into the demo. Just switch over to that screen. Okay, so uh, one thing to is a web part, or if you uh, want to uh, start uh, with that. Um, when you download it uh, from GitHub from the of, uh, official uh, repository, you uh, usually you just start it up and and uh, I don't know go to your workbench and so on. But uh, for this, because then uh, you can just add a page, go here to apps, and add it as a app page web part like this. Let's just give it a title. And here it is. Uh, of course, it's a little bit small. Let's zoom a little bit in here. Uh, and you can see what it has done at the beginning. It's uh, loaded all the sites and all the fields and um, and out of the lookups of all the fields, uh, it builds uh, the relations. And uh, after that, it's going to put everything into the uh, Go.js. So uh, that's that. And um, on top of that, there's one command bar just with a few options. Um, here's one refresh button. Uh, usually uh, you will see, um, yeah, the first time you will start this, you will see that. Uh, and that's when it's loading all the, all the lists. Um, after that, it's cached. So uh, when you open up, it will just uh, refresh immediately. 
Um, then you can, for example, uh, yeah, show also the lists which are not related to any other list. So it's a little bit more um, stuff. Usually you can yeah, switch off the alerts. You can see in the tables on the lists, um, I've added also some alerts. Um, maybe some, sometimes it's an info, sometimes it's a warning, for example, when you are uh, close to reaching the threshold limit. Um, you can switch off these and you can switch also off uh, the fields and then you have a yeah a smaller um, ERD. Um, if you have the fields, you can also switch to uh, or you can also switch between internal and display name, uh, whatever you prefer. And when you zoom out and uh, like that, for example, you can also do download it as an image and I don't know show to your friends. Um, okay, that's it for uh, the web part. Um, so uh, what I'm using in here uh, is Go.js, and, and that was basically also where I started from to search for uh, where, uh, yeah, where do I start, which package can uh, do the visual visualization. And um, Go.js can do a lot of more uh, stuff, as you can see here. I started basically from this sample here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty close. So um, the work uh, of the visualization was not that much. And um, there was also an NPM package uh, where I started from. So if you want to do anything like this, you can go for that. And one thing to mention is um, that uh, you can see, you see it also here in the um, top left corner. Um, it's uh, if you go, I don't know, productive uh, in any way uh, with that, uh, you would need to acquire a license for that, I guess. So, uh, okay, let's have a, a quick look in the code. Try to keep it short. Um, so uh, the web part itself um, is pretty simple. I basically did nothing here as it uh, it's still as it um, generated from the uh, yeah from the generator, and in the component itself it's um it's a functional component uh, so we're using uh yeah react use state and use ref and so on um we do have um one state which is basically the data for uh, for gojs and we have a few state variables for the command bar like uh yeah switching the alerts off and so on what you have seen uh, the JSX is also pretty simple. You see the command bar, you see the loading progress indicator, and, and when everything is loaded, we're just passing everything into the React diagram component from Go.js. So when this fires up, uh, there's one use effect, or oh, yeah, component did mount. And this is also firing when uh, some of my variables change in the command bar. Um, and we just do our load diagram function. And this one is doing all the magic. Um, so we have one function, get SharePoint site data. And in here, we're, let's jump into it. Uh, we're just doing all the PMP JS stuff. So um, yeah, creating the context out of the SPFX context and so on, iterating over all lists, iterating over all fields, and yeah, identify some alerts and so on, and putting all this data in some abstract, yeah, I would say abstract uh, interfaces or uh, model. Um, and the model which has come out is just tables and relations. And after that, after we get this uh, bundle of data, uh, we need to transform it. So um, it's like an abstract um, bundle, I would say. And if you, I don't know, maybe you want to go uh, or want to do something similar or different, you could also uh, go with a different um, library like a 3JS or something like that. Uh, they can also do a cool visualization stuff. Um, so you could, um, yeah, just also modify whatever is getting pulled out of here or even have your own structure. And uh, then you can uh, go here and uh, have a different, I don't know, mapping function uh, because this function is just mapping the data from, I don't know, my internal structure to the structure I need for Go.js. So if we go here, you can see it's 
just a little bit mapping. And uh, on top of here, some definition um, here on, uh, you can see here's a little mapping uh, table and it's mapping by type. So uh, by the type of the column, I'm mapping, yeah, the color as well as the little figure, which is rendered then is it uh, yeah, a circle or a diamond, whatever. And um, yeah, it's just a little bit mapping. And yeah, at the end, uh, we're just setting our state and everything's getting re-rendered. So pretty simple and pretty much fun. And yeah, I guess that's for me. Yeah, that was really cool. I actually think I want to download that and check out some of my data models. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Um, thanks. And, and also congratulations on doing your first PNP demo. And maybe congratulations isn't the right thing. You did a great job. So thanks for doing it. Thank you.